Praise the Lord and hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, we thank God so much for the gift of another day and for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that your spirit is still moving in us. That is why we live and move and have our being. We pray that you speak to us today to glorify your name in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How to Understand the Word of God. Today, too, we'll take our devotional reading from Mark chapter 9, the verses 19 to 24. With this, it's, uh, there's a story from verse 1 that Jesus went at the mountain with his disciples, his three disciples, John, Peter, and James. And after the transfiguration, when they got down the mountain, they came to meet the other disciples praying for a demon-possessed boy, but could not, could not um, overcome the enemy, could not cast out that demon working in that boy. So Jesus asked them in verse 19, he said to them, you faithless people, how long must I be with you? How long must I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought the boy, but when the, when the evil spirit saw Jesus, he threw the child into a violent convulsion, and he fell to the ground with writhing and foaming at the mouth. How long has this been happening? Jesus asked the boy's, mother, boy's father. He replied, since he was a little boy, the spirit often throws him into the fire or into water trying to kill him. Have mercy on us and help us if you can. What do you mean if I can? Jesus asked. Anything is possible if a person believes. The father instantly cried out, I do believe, but help me overcome my unbelief. Brethren in the Lord, I believe this boy's father's prayer is our prayer too. At times things come our way that we even forget that we have an advocate, a judge who, a judge who also vindicates us. We forget that we have an intercessor who is sitting at the right hand side of God the Father Almighty, interceding on our behalf. We forget that God has given us authority to call him Abba Father. We forget that God has made He has made us His children and has given us authority over the works of the enemy. We sit and cry instead of praying and destroying the works of the enemy. Today Jesus is talking about faith. And this man said, I believe, I believe, but help my unbelief. And it is true. Today we will believe, today we will have faith because the situation is not so hard. But when it comes to a harder situation, we forget to call upon the same God who delivered us from the grips of the enemy when we had we were going through that smaller situation. Brethren in the Lord, let's look at this scenario. Someone who is controlling us, someone who is suppressing us, someone who has taken us into darkness, and there comes a more powerful person who has fought for us. Jesus has made a public show of the enemy, and he says that he has given us authority as his children over the enemy and the works of the enemy. So, it is not it is not right, it is an error to sit and cry when we are in trouble, when we are facing calamities, when we are going through persecutions, when we are going through pain and suffering. We need to understand and know our identity in the Lord, stand upon the promises of God, stand upon the power of God invested in us and destroy the works of the enemy. Today we are praying that the Lord himself who deliver us and remind us so that we can fight and fight for others too. Father Lord, we pray thanking you for this authority given unto us over the enemy. The one who took captive over us has now become our captive too. And you have given us power to destroy his ways. We pray for our children. We pray for our husbands and wives. We pray for our relatives. We pray for the nations of the world. Father, we destroy every plan of the enemy concerning our lives and that of our loved ones. And we pray that, and we pray what you have said concerning us to come into being. For you have promised us that you know the plans you have for us, that they are plans that are good and not of evil. 
He wants to give us a hope and a future. Father, help us to trust and obey you all the days of our lives so that we can also apply what you've given unto us. Thank you, Jesus, for the power. Thank you for the authority. We pray that you put in us your fire. The fire that comes from the Holy Spirit, that whatever we say, O oh God, will come to pass, that it will be accomplished because we have said it in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much in Jesus' name.